Good evening, and welcome to North Country. This is going to be a playthrough of Arkham Horror the Card Game. Specifically, we are going to be playing through the fan-created campaign, North Country Cycle. This is a story in three parts that takes place in the Adirondack Mountains of upstate New York. Tonight we're going to be using the one and only Schizo Tool, who is the, the rogue from the core set of the card game. So our story. Our story, as mentioned, takes place in the Adirondack Mountains of upstate New York, as pictured on our play mat here. And it begins with our ex-con Skids O'Toole um, looking to hide out in uh, you know, hide out in somewhere rural for a few months. Maybe uh, you know do some uh, do some lumberjacking, make a little make a little bit of money. You know, keep his living expenses low so he can uh, you know maybe work off some of those uh, hospital debts that he's been uh, that he's um, found himself strapped with since uh, leaving the Slammer. So we're going to start off. Um, with part one, Rotham Backcountry, um, all is not well in upstate New York. So we're gonna let's take a look and uh, at the scenario and see what we have to do. So we begin with um, Skids on his way up to the uh, township of Rotham, and he's heard rumors that the Rotham sheriff will not let anyone into the town for some reason, and it seems those rumors were true. Rotham deputies patrolled the countryside, keeping an eye out for those who might wish to slip by the perimeter. So this is a uh, Skids is on his way to, um, you know, on his way to Rotham to stay away from the law, and we begin our tale with Skids um, with the the law in Skids' way. Fortunately, though, all Rotham officer enemies are going to have the keyword aloof. And we have eight doom before really bad things are going to start happening to Skids. But what does he need to do? He needs to skirt the perimeter. You can see that it won't be as simple as driving down Main Street. You will need to get familiar with the surrounding area first to find the best way into Rotham. You've always believed that your decisions were only as good as your grasp of the situation. Here, in this wilderness, you don't quite have a handle on which way is most advantageous. Yet, that is something that can be remedied. So, Skids, uh, in game terms, Skids is going to have to find six clues before he can uh, find a way past the, uh, the net of police that are um, that have that have been uh, creating roadblocks uh, all around the town of Rotham. Just why those roadblocks have been created, uh, he's he's really not quite sure yet, but it's um, he's driven a long way from Arkham, Massachusetts, so if he can find a way into town and uh, slip through the net of police, um, that would be very good for him. Okay, so let's go over the uh, deck I'm bringing tonight. Uh, as mentioned, I'm bringing uh, Skids O'Toole, so he's a... Uh, he is a rogue with uh, also some access to some low-level guardian card guardian cards. So what have I included in this deck? Um, it's relatively straightforward. Uh, we've got some we've got some weapons. We've got some let's see. We've got some nice little assets here. You know we've got some uh, sweet evasion events. So I'm going to be focusing a, a pretty decent amount on Skids' evasion talents, and I'm really hoping to give this card stealth a try. So that way he can uh, evade things a bit more efficiently. Skids is um, Skids is is perceived by the greater Arkham Horror community as kind of a, a challenge to play, and uh, it'll this I think this deck uh, really leans into Skids' talents of having um, for a base four in evasion. So that way we can make get really excellent use out of cards like slip away, cards like uh, daring, and cards like stealth. So that way he can uh, stay one step ahead of his enemies. So and then we're going to use his guardian access to uh, largely have some firearms. And this uh, really efficient card here is scene of the crime. Um, guardian also provides access to the very efficient take the initiative, and uh, the. Let's see, here it is. The efficient card, uh, Daring, useful for both attacks and evasion attempts. So we've kind of got a nice mix of, uh, you know, rogue um, rogue money-making cards, and we've got some uh, Guardian weapons here. We've also got this really neat um, Guardian healing item that will uh, help Skids stay alive out in the wilderness. Um, appropriately, Skids is... Uh, basic weakness is a stubborn detective who's uh, determined to uh, see him thrown back in the slammer. All right, so that's the uh, the deck we're running. I'll post a link in the, uh, the description to the full deck list if you want to have a closer look yourself. Okay, so here we are. We are um, approaching 
approaching Rotham, and we start off at a crossroads. Um, Skids is on Highway 49, which leads to Rotham, a small town in the upstate area known as North Country. So there are no clues here. Uh, he can resign by just leaving the way he came, but uh, it looks like um, Skids is going to start his adventure with a decision. Does he go right or does he go left? All right, so we'll um, draw opening hands and then we'll, uh, we'll see what route he takes. Okay, here we go. So what are we looking for with skids here? Uh, I should also have the audience know that I have not played this ever. I have no idea what's in the back of these location cards, and I have no idea what's in this encounter deck. So this is going to be a nice journey of discovery for all of us. So what that also means is I don't know what I really need in my opening hand. I'm guessing a gun would be nice, um, but let, let's see what comes up. All right, here we go. What do we got? Okay, uh, flashlights are good. Stealth is good to stay away from any baddies that show up. Okay, we've got a gun. We've got a way to get money. So this hand actually looks pretty nice, <laughs> to be honest. Let's see, if I play my emergency cash, um, I'll have eight. I'll have uh, eight resources, which is enough to play. Oh, I can't play both the Thompson and the flashlight because they take up hands. Ooh, so this might be a little bit tight. Hmm, I guess I'm really, what I'm really hoping for here is maybe like a one-handed weapon. But um, I think I'll go with this because I think this hand's pretty uh, generally useful here. I'm not sure what else. Maybe a lucky cigarette case would be nice to have at this point. So let's... Um, on the Lamb is, uh, is it's actually very versatile, useful for... But more useful for uh, really clutch plays later. So let's mulligan on the Lamb and see what we get here. Watch this. Uh, that might be handy if we have to do an evasion attempt to get a bunch of resources here. Okay, so let's get started. All right, I'm thinking what I'll do first is I'm thinking I'll play stealth. So that way, if we do run into any bad guys, we'll be uh, pretty good at evading them. So let's go first action, play stealth. And I'll put that in the spell slot there because I'm not using it for anything else. All right, now we've got to make a decision. Do we go right or left? Hmm, let's go left. Okay, second action. We're looking for clues. Let's see what we find. Highway 49 West, heading west. The forest gets close and dark. Okay, so there is a clue here. All right, and we have a shroud value of three. The forest is more dense here, and there are fewer signs of civilization. The trees press up against the road as to, to ward off any travelers. Okay, so a shroud of three. Um, that's going to be pretty difficult for Skids with his um, base investigation of three. So let's go ahead and play this flashlight. Okay. And then let's go ahead and use the flashlight to do an investigation test. Yeah, it seems pretty good. Okay, so we're going to be testing at testing investigation at three versus one, thanks to the flashlight. Let's see what we get. Oh, a tablet. Tablet is a minus two, and that effect seems to affect Rotham police officers. All right, so we succeed on the nose and get a clue. All right, so that's been three actions. We could spend two resources to get a fourth, but... Um, that's we we've we don't have the money to do that but that's okay we've already we've got a decent setup here for looking for more clues and if any baddies like police officers show up we can try to evade them all right so that is all our actions so we'll go right to upkeep where we're gonna take a card and a resource Ooh, lone wolf that's good to see early and uh better on this it's even though we didn't get on the first turn uh second turn is uh second best all right so here we go now we're gonna move into the mythos phase and, okay, nothing special happens here. Just remember if I draw any um, Rotham officers, they're going to get aloof. Okay, so here we go. First encounter card of the campaign. How bad is it? Dangerous ground. Ooh. Okay, so test strength at three. If we fail, discard a card at random. Okay, that's not so bad. So we're at three versus three. I don't think I'm going to boost this, so I'll just, if I fail, I fail. Okay, it's not so bad. Yeah, we're going to fail that. <laughs> okay, so we have to discard a card at random from our hand. I liked my whole hand there, so this is uh, unfortunate. Okay. Oh, we lost our emergency cash. Okay, so that is three resources down. Okay, but of these, it's probably the least important one to lose. Okay, so what are we going to do? First things first, we're definitely going to get this lone wolf down so we can start triggering it um, as the game goes on. All right, so that was our first action. Second action, I guess let's check out the woods. The trees cover the road with only tiny cracks of sunlight piercing through. All right, heading in to look for some clues. Okay, it looks like there are two clues um, 
down here. Rotham Woods West, ruined homestead. Some tragedy has brought this homestead to ruin. The house looks as if it might fall down at any moment. Okay, so Shroud is four, which is quite a bit. And as an action, you can attempt to steal yourself to enter the house. If you fail, take a horror. If you succeed, make an investigate check at minus two Shroud. Oh, okay, so you can make a willpower test in order to do better at your investigation. Sadly, our willpower is not very good, so I don't think that's going to work out for us. All right, so uh, Shroud is four. We have two charges of flashlights, um, so that would put us down to two. We'd still only be one over, so that's okay. I want to get both these clues, so I'm thinking what we'll do is I'll actually draw to see um, what kind of better stuff we can find to help us with our investigation. Okay, so second action, I'll... Oh, that was second action, I moved. So third action, let's draw. Oh, take the initiative, that's going to help us make investigations, actually. All right, so that is... Yep, that is all three of our actions. So we'll go, we have no baddies, so we'll go straight to upkeep. Oh, that's gonna help us make investigations as well. So good stuff. All right, so we're gonna go for a new turn. Yeah, that'll end the turn, so we start a new turn. We have two doom out of eight. And let's see what kind of bad stuff we get here. Tracking dogs, oh dear. Test agility at three. If we fail, move the nearest Rotham deputy one closer to you. If there are none, Oh, this card, this card gains Surge. Okay, so we'll just do that. Ooh, a crazed dog just shows up here. It's got an evasion of four and two hit points. It's a, we got a crazed dog. Its eyes are fiery red and its fangs are dripping blood. Yuck. Okay, so Skids is out here just uh, checking out a ruined homestead and when he's uh, set upon by a crazed dog. All right, well, fortunately, we have just the thing. Um, for dealing with it. Sadly, it has Hunter, so it's going to chase us around. All right, so what do we do here? Okay, if we use our stealth, well, first things first, we're going to get our lone wolf. Okay, so if we use our stealth to try to evade it, the um, the downside there is that it'll continue to hunt us. So that's a problem. Okay, if I evade it normally, its evasion is four, though. Well, I'm not in a really good position to um, attack the dog just yet. So I think what I'll do is I'll just go, f if I go for a straight up evasion, I'll be at four versus four, which isn't so great. I could boost that up a bit. If I were to use some cards from my hand, maybe bet some resources on watch this. Okay, then I, now I feel like I'm in a good place. So what I'm gonna do with my first action is I'm gonna try to evade this dog, just to lock it for a turn. I'm thinking I'll go maybe evade, maybe try to investigate, and then we can get out. Okay, here we go. Okay, so first action, let's go to evade. Let's use take the initiative. So now we're at a whopping seven to evade, which uh, that feels pretty good, seven versus four. And let's try to get some resources. So we'll also pitch and watch this and we'll bet our three resources on it. So we are at an eight to evade four. Yep, eight versus four. Okay, that's gonna be a minus one. So we succeed by three, which is nice because then our bet pays off. One, two, three, four, five, six. And this guy is, this crazed dog is evaded. Okay, so already we're dealing with some sort of bloodthirsty creature here. All right, so that was action one. Okay, so action two, let's try to get some clues before we uh, get the heck out. Let's use our flashlight. Okay, so now we're gonna be at three versus two, thanks to using the flashlight. Here we go. Uh, cultus, that is minus X, X is the total number of Rotham officers. Well, there are no Rotham officers right now, so that will be a success, we'll get this clue. All right, now with our third action, let's try again. Okay, so once again, we're at three versus two. This one seems important, so let's use our unexpected courage. So now we're at five versus two on this investigation. Oh, that's an auto fail. Oh no, it's just when we use our unexpected courage. Okay, so that was our last action. I think what we'll do now is let's, we can use Skids' ability to uh, either get the heck out. That uh, probably seems pretty good right now because right now um, being able to get another clue at Shroud 4 is going to be tough. So what I'll do is I'll use Skids' ability to buy a fourth action and then I'll use that to leave. That way this thing won't be jumping right on top of us. All right, so we head to the enemy phase. Um, no active hunters to hunt. So we'll go to the up, go to upkeep. So this guy will refresh. And then we're going to draw a card and get a resource. Another lone wolf. Not exactly what we need right now. Okay. So let's go to a new turn. We go to three doom out of eight. And let's see what we get here. Oh, we get our new actions. 
Okay, so we need to make test dangerous ground. Okay, so we'll be testing um, combat three versus three. Oh, we succeed. All right, we don't lose anything. Okay, so we need to not get cornered by this crazed dog. So I think what I'll do is first I'll trigger Lone Wolf. Fortunately, I have enough money to play this Thompson, which may be what we use. So I think what we'll do is we'll arm up because that wolf, sorry, that crazed dog, if it doesn't jump in on us, uh, hunt us and attack us this turn, it's we're still going to have to deal with it. It's going to corner us in the woods here. So I think what we'll do is I'll go first action, play this 45 Thompson. So now we are armed and ready to deal with that dog. Okay, second action. Let's head over to, um, let's head over to the other woods. Let's see. Also two clues here. That's good. So two out of our. What do we got here? After you enter this location. Oh, we have to test um, test combat, and if we fail, we take damage. A large gravel pit excavated in a bleak clearing. Entering the pit is dangerous and requires some strength. Something was unearthed here, but what? Okay, so we're going to be testing at three versus three. Uh, minus two. So we fail by two, so that means we're going to take two damage here. That's too bad. All right, so that was our second action. Um, I could investigate, but I'd be at three versus three, which is not so great. So I think I'm going to just draw some cards and... Um, Maybe look for some more investigation cards. So third action, I'll draw. Okay, we got another take the initiative. That'll be helpful. Um, yeah, that'll be helpful. Okay, so now we'll go to enemy phase where this dog is gonna, you know, run after us. And now we'll go to upkeep where we're gonna draw a card and take a resource. Another Thompson for when this one runs out. Okay, new turn. We are at four doom out of eight. And let's see what kind of encounter card we get. We get a crazed man. Oh, geez the heck we're just trying to <laughs> we're just trying to look for some work and trying to find a way into the village and we got like dogs and men coming after us here okay okay so when the crazed man would deal damage geez it does a lot of damage you can reduce the damage by you can basically evade him his eyes burn as if on fire and he wildly charges with an axe okay so we're getting cornered here by lots of bad stuff all right start of our turn we'll uh, take a resource so we could either I'm thinking this would be a good opportunity to evade the crazed man, and maybe, well, maybe we can deal with the crazed dog. All right, what are our options? We've got two resources, so we could have four actions a turn if we need it. All right. Uh, if we use stealth, he doesn't hunt, so we can just leave him behind. If we were to just, um, he doesn't have hunters, so we could use stealth to just leave him behind. So maybe we can go first action stealth against the crazed man. Second action, we can investigate. Third action, move here. Fourth action, shoot the crazed dog. Okay, I like my I like my odds here. Yeah, it's not a hundred percent. I'd be at let's see, I'd be investigating at three versus five versus three. Okay, I feel pretty decent about that. All right, so here we go. First action, we're gonna use stealth, and we're gonna try to slip away from the crazed man. So we are at a four versus a z versus a difficulty zero here. Okay, that is a success. So we, oh, we don't we don't exhaust him. We just evade him. Okay, so let's try to get a clue on our way out. I'll use take the initiative. So now we're going to be take the initiative only has two wild pips because we've already taken an an action this turn. So we're going to be investigating at five versus three. Okay, that's a success. So we're going to get our third clue. All right, let's deal with the dog before it comes and bites us, because look at that, that bite is really, uh, that bites a lot. Okay, so third action, I'll move here, and I'll engage the uh, crazed dog, and then I'll buy a fourth action, which I'll use to shoot the crazed dog with our Thompson. So right now we're going to be at a five versus a three. Oh, another auto fail. Well, that's no good. That is no good at all. Okay, so we go to the enemy phase. Okay, this guy doesn't move at all. Um, this dog is going to attack us for two damage and a horror. Oh, that is, it's kind of awful. All right, so now we um, now we'll move to upkeep. So card and resource, elusive. That'll probably be handy later in the campaign, later in the um, later in this game. All right, new turn. We are at five doom out of eight, and let's see what kind of bad things we get. Oh, we got another baddie. We got a deputy. Okay. Okay, so deputies, I think they are, it's an officer? Yes, so he is aloof. So he's just roaming around minding his own business while we're dealing with crazed animals. 
All right, so start of our turn, we trigger our lone wolf. Okay, so what are we gonna do against this dog? Let's try to take the dog down. Okay, so once again, we're gonna be at five versus three. Okay, that is a success, so we defeat the dog. Okay, what is going on with this deputy here? Okay, this location gets plus one shroud. Okay, and we don't wanna defeat him in combat. It's hard to snoop around with a deputy lurking nearby. Okay, so we are, okay, so we've dealt with this monster that's been chasing us. What do we want to do next here? We need six clues in order to proceed. We have three of them already. Okay. This thing is Shroud 4, so that's going to be really difficult for us to get. Um, this one is Shroud 3. This is also going to be kind of difficult. And we've got this crazed man in, a way, in the way. So I'm thinking we need to just get out of here. All right. So second action, we'll move to the, to the crossroads. And then, yeah, I think I'm good here. Third action, let's head back to the high, to the, uh, east side of the highway. The surrounding forest seems thinner and more pleasant heading east. Okay, there's a clue here, and its shroud is two, which is, uh, yep, that's that's, uh, that's pretty present. Okay, so that was our all three of our actions. I don't feel like buying another one right now. So we're going to go straight into the enemy phase, which uh, there are no active hunters, so we're okay here. All right, so now we'll go to upkeep, but we're going to get a card and a resource. Oh, we got another gun for when this one runs out. All right, new turn. We are now at six doom out of eight, and let's see what happens. Up oh, another crazed man here. These they're everywhere. We could try defeating this one. With it would take us two shots, and we'd be at five versus four. Kind of awful. I like the stealth plan. All right, so start of our turn, we get a resource from Lone Wolf. So what we're gonna do first action. We're gonna try to slip away from the crazed man. We're going to be at a four versus a zero, thanks to stealth here. Okay, that is a success. So he is evaded, but not exhausted. All right, second action. Let's try to find this clue, try to find a way into the town. All right, so we're going to be at three versus two. Uh, that's a failure. Uh, third action, let's try again. Uh, that's a success. Okay, so we've got the clue. All right, so we could have... We could just end our turn here and have the crazed man just immediately attack us. Let's not. Let's buy a fourth action, and then we'll flee into the woods. The woods east of Rotham are airy and cheerful. Okay. Oh, no clues here. That's too bad. And uh, we're at Greeley's farm. Um, this is a peaceful farm, and the Greeley family is quite helpful. They can have us, he as an action, we can heal a damage or a horror, but only once per game. Okay, so that was our fourth. That was our four actions. So now we go to the enemy phase. We have no active hunters at the moment, so we're just gonna go straight and upkeep. Okay, refresh our stuff, get a card and a resource. Intel report. Okay, that might actually be handy for us to like maybe nab this clue later on. All right, new turn. We are gonna be at seven doom out of eight. Uh oh, we are getting close to the uh, the doom threshold here. Let's see what we get. Smoldering chasm. Oh, geez. Just in front of you, a gaping chasm opens up. The smell of sulfur fills the air, and heat rises from the cracked ground. Oh, that's awful. Okay, so we are testing at four versus three on our um, athletics. That is a minus one, and we move each Rotham deputy one location towards us. So this one is on our trail, but we still succeed. That's nice. Okay. So what do we need to accomplish here? Uh, we're hurting a little bit, so I'm thinking maybe we can uh, heal a damage, we can move. Uh, then we got this crazed man to deal with. Huh. Maybe what we need to do is just move, then use stealth to get past the crazed man, and then maybe head up here. We have four of six clues. Yikes, I have a feeling we're going to have to get the, one of these two in order to um, advance, but let's see what's up here. If there are two clues up here, then we'll probably be okay. Okay. All right, well, here we go. First action, we'll move here, engage the crazed man. Okay, second action, let's use stealth to get away from the crazed man. Let's also remember that we're supposed to get lone wolf. Okay, so second action, we'll use stealth on the crazed man. We're at a four versus difficulty zero. Uh, that's a success, so we stealth away from the crazed man. Third action, let's head over to this section of woods. What do we got? Two clues here, excellent. But it costs two actions to investigate this location. At Asbury Manor. The Asbury Manor sits on a sprawling estate bordered by the forest. Small tilt clearings dot the ground. Okay, so there are two clues here, and those are the two we need. Uh, sadly, it costs us two actions to investigate here, but this is where Intel Report is really going to help us. 
So I'm thinking what we'll do is next turn we'll use Intel report to pay for, um, to buy our clues, so to speak. If I had six resources, I would probably do it now, but that's okay. All right, so that is all three of our actions. Uh, we move to the enemy phase. We have no active hunters to hunt us. So we'll go straight to upkeep. So we get a card and a resource. Oh, daring, that's gonna be useful when we, uh, probably when we, when we attack something next. Okay, so now we're gonna go to a new turn and we're gonna be at eight doom. Okay, let's see what happens when we get eight doom here. Be on the lookout. The Rotham Sheriff's Department is on to you. They will not let you enter Rotham and are now actively seeking you. You can hear them crashing through the woods and patrolling the roads. Your time to get into Rotham is running short. Okay, if there are fewer than X Rotham deputies in play, search for a Ro search your the encounter deck and discard pile for Rotham deputy enemies and put them in play until they're X. X equals two. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna go find a Rotham deputy and put it into play. Alternate spawns between Highway 949 West and Highway 49 East, starting with Highway 49 West. Okay, so we're gonna go grab an enemy and we are going to. Yep, here's our deputy. Okay. And we're going to put it at Highway 49 West. There. Okay. I see what he's doing. They start off. They've been patrolling the highway. Okay. So that was advancing the agenda. And then it said shuffle the encounter discard pile back into the encounter deck. So we'll do that. All right. So now we go to Agenda 2, Stop the Trespassers. Shouts of alarm once, shouts of alarm once in the distance are growing closer. You aren't sure why the authorities are so determined to keep you out, but you can sense that they will use any force needed to achieve their goal. Growls and snaps from the tracking dogs reverberate off the trees. They have nearly encircled you. So now Roth, the Rotham deputies are going to hunt us. Oh dear. And as a non-action, we can res we can surrender the sheriff and be arrested. Well, we're not going to do that. We're going to try to get in. We're going to try to get away because Skids is good at that. All right, so we're going to go straight to the... Um, so now we're going to draw an encounter card. What do we get? Drawing attention. If there's a, ooh, if there's at least one clue at your location, attach this card to that location and place a doom on it. Otherwise, drawing attention gains surge. If this location has no clues, discard drawing attention. Well, that's a neat encounter card. Kind of reminds me of this. Uh, what's it called? Spires of Carcosa from uh, the Carcosa expansion. Interesting. Okay, so fortunately, we have a plan to get to uh, go grab these two clues. We're gonna so we're gonna start our turn play and trigger our lone wolf. So we're gonna spend our first action playing Intel Report. Intel Report. We'll be able to spend four resources to discover two clues at our location. So let's do that. Okay. So we're gonna grab these two clues. The good part is it doesn't caught, count as investigating, so we don't have to spend that additional action to investigate. Whoops. There was that clue over there. All right, now this is good news because now we have six clues and six we can advance. All right, so we're going to spend our six clues to to advance the act here. Let's see what happens. So we've taken one action. Let me mark that in case uh, I lose track. Okay. All right, here we go. Advancing. Two ways in. Your, destination, your determination to learn more about the area surrounding Rotham has paid off. You've spotted the sheriff blocking the road into the town. You've also discovered information which indicates that on occasion some of those who live farther away from Rotham somehow make their way back and forth through the thick trees. Place the dense forest and blocked road locations into play. Place Sheriff Harper at the blocked road. Okay, so I'll go dig those out and I'll be right back. Okay, and we're back and I have uh, set up our... Um, board going into the second act here. So what what seems to have appeared are two potential routes into the town. We have a blocked road, which is currently being patrolled by uh, the lovely uh, Sheriff Harper here. So he's an interesting guy. Um, he's grim in all business, but and while engaged with him, we cannot move away. So kind of nasty. And then we've got dense forest. Not really sure what's going on back there. Okay, so we move on to act two, slip the net. Now that you are more familiar with the countryside, it's clear that there are only two viable ways into Rotham. You can get past Sheriff Harper, who is blocking Rotham's Creek Road, the road that goes into town, or you can find a path through the dense forest surrounding the town. From your explorations, you're sure there's a path there somewhere. You just have to find it first. Okay, so we have, we have 
looks like we um, our objective is to either pass the block road or find a path through the dense forest. All right, so it looks like we're just gonna have to pick one of these and we're gonna have to go pursue it. So let's let's do some strategizing here. Okay, so we know that, yes, that the deputies are gonna hunt us. Okay, that's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be a bit tricky. Fortunately, we have stealth for um, staying away from the deputies. That's gonna be nice. All right, but, so we have two options. We can either head down this way, but if we do that, we're gonna have to, we have to get through a crazed man and then get through the sheriff, which might be kind of difficult. Um, I'm not afraid of, of evading him, but I'm just afraid of the damage that these two are going to cause, plus these guys are going to hunt us. Another option is we can head this way, okay, in through the dense forest. And how are we going to do that? Well, we can use this lovely card, Elusive, here to move to a revealed location with no enemies. Okay, that's the only limitation. It's a revealed location with no enemies. So we've revealed a lot of these locations, but... The one we want, this one, there's an enemy here for now. We know that during the enemy phase, this guy is going to hunt us over to the crossroads. So that's going to leave this open. So I'm thinking what we'll do is we'll chill out here for a turn. And then we're going to let these guys hunt us. And then we're going to use our, our elusive to head over to the highway and then down to the dense forest. We're going to do what Skids does best, and that's stay a step ahead of the law. All right, so that means we have some time to uh, chill out and recuperate here. So I'm thinking we'll do that by drawing cards. Okay, second action. Yep, we've already spent one action, so second action I'll draw. Hallowed Mirror, that is actually really handy right now. So handy, I think I'm just going to put it right into play. Okay, so I'll spend two to play the Hallowed Mirror. Hallowed Mirror, it's going to spawn a copy of Soothing Melody in my hand, and we're going to shuffle two copies of Soothing Melody into our deck here. Okay. So that's going to help us, you know, um, shrug off the effects of this damage we've taken and any damage that we are going to end up taking. Uh, we know that thanks to our resource for the turn in Lone Wolf, we're going to be able to afford Elusive next turn. So we are okay. All right, so that was our three actions. Okay, so we're going we're gonna to resolve Hunters. So this guy, he does not hunt, but these two do. So they are looking for us. Okay, these guys don't hunt either. Okay, so now we're going to go get cards and a resource. Lucky cigarette case, that would have been nice to see a little while ago, but we've got the hollowed mirror now. All right, and now we'll go to a new turn. One doom out of five, and let's see what kind of encounter guard we get. Smoldering chasm, we've seen this before. So we just have to test agility, and if we fail, we take two damage. I think I'm just going to take it on the chin. Although two damage might be kind of nasty right now. We don't really need this lone wolf. Um, we're going to be currently testing at 1 over. Let's burn this lone wolf and we'll test at 2 over. So now we're going to be at 5 versus 3. Uh, let's go minus 1 and me move each Rotham deputy enemy one location towards the nearest investigator. Okay, so we're going to succeed at this, but these deputies are going to gonna come here and this one's going to engage us. Uh-oh. So just when we're being found, um, our turn starts, we get a resource, and this is where Elusive is going to save our save our bacon. So um, I'm going to play Elusive as a non-action. And we're going to disengage from this enemy here. Okay, we're going to go to this revealed location over here. Okay, so we have stayed a step ahead of the law here. All right, I could get greedy and I can head back over to the woods to try to get that clue. But I'm not in the best shape for getting clues right now. Could go over. I can't go over here because there's a bad guy here, so I'd have to move over there. All right, let's not waste any time. Let's just uh, try to get through this forest here. So action one, we'll move into this dense forest. Okay. Barely any sunlight reaches the ground here, and it only gets darker further in. Okay. Forest, after you enter the dense forest, immediately reveal an encounter card, and that is an action you can investigate. Ooh, that's difficulty four. And if successful, we complete the objective. We have found a path through the dense forest. Okay, I see how this is going to work. All right, so first we get an encounter card. Okay, this is our first action. Mysterious symbology. Test willpower, and if we fail, we take two horror. Okay, we're probably going to fail that. <laughs> yeah, because our willpower is only two, so we get a modified one, which is going to be a failure. So we take two horror, is that correct? Okay. All right, so that was all in one action. All right, so now we have some decisions to make. We can press forward with an investigate of 
but the shroud is four, so we're not in very good shape to do that right now. So I'm thinking what we'll do is we'll heal up a little bit and draw cards until we can find more um, investigation uh, boosters to help us get through. So second action, I'll play Soothing Melody to heal up a little bit. We've been mainly taking damage, so I'll heal that and get a card. Okay, and then so that was our second action. Third action, more resources are pretty useful, so I'll do that. Okay, so that was our third action. Okay, so that's not so bad. Um, we're still gonna be we're gonna be really digging for some investigation cards, so I'm gonna have to be. Fortunately, we've bought some time before the deputies catch up with us. All right, so we're gonna move to the enemy phase. The deputies uh, catch wind of the fact that we're over to the west, and now we'll go to upkeep, and we'll get a card and a resource. Slip away. Okay, that's a that's an icon. That'll be helpful. So we're gonna keep digging. I I think we're gonna keep power drawing on our turn. Okay, so we go to a new turn. We go to two doom out of five. Okay, and we get our encounter card, Call of Insanity. Okay, place this card in your threat area with two horror on it. If you defeat a crazy enemy, discard this card. And at the end of the upkeep phase, move a horror from this card to your investigator. If none remains, discard it. Oh, that's wonky. Okay, so basically we need to defeat a crazed enemy in order to, or to, to uh, I guess, head off the call of insanity. That's kind of a cool concept, I gotta say. I like that card. All right, so it's got two horror on it. So this is gonna slowly bleed us for some horror. Hmm. So we're gonna start our turn and get a resource off a of lone wolf. I think let's just focus on the prize here. Let's uh, draw some cards and we can boost our, so we can boost our investigation check. All right, so first action draw. Okay, what do we got? Watch this, that's not gonna help us. Uh, second action draw again. Uh, Intel report that will absolutely help us. Um, we could use it on a. Uh, we could use it to get a victory point, Ooh. or we could use it to try to get out of here. Um, hmm. Okay, let's uh, let's not rush it just this turn. Let's build up a little bit. So right now we have seven cards in hand. Okay, what don't we need? I don't think we need these extra guns. And we definitely don't need this, because we've got the hollowed mirror. So third action, let's draw again. Let's see what we got. Another soothing melody. Very nice. We don't really need our resources for very much right now, so I'm going to spend two resources to get a fourth action, and I'll use that to play the soothing melody. We're about to take some horror here, so let's heal two horror and get a card off of soothing melody. Another soothing melody. Well, I guess I got sl they, slept through the, they uh, got slipped through the deck there. Okay, so that was all four of our actions. Okay, so now we're going to resolve hunters. So these two hunt to here. Okay, and now we'll go to upkeep. So we're going to get a card and a resource, and we're going to take a horror from this call of insanity. Okay, we have nine cards in hand. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I don't think we need this Thompson, so I will discard that. Okay. I don't think we need the, I think we need the lucky cigarette case even less. Uh, we might run to a willpower jack, and you know, I might want want that booster. Okay, so new turn. We're gonna go to three doom out of five. We're gonna try to get out of here this turn, and we'll get an encounter card. Smoldering chasm again. Okay, so we just test at four versus three. Um, I don't think we're gonna need this automatic, so I'll pitch this into the test. So now we're gonna be at five versus three. Okay, so that is a success. We don't take any damage. All right, we're gonna maximize our chances, and then with think with our last action, we're gonna try to get out of here. Okay, so we trigger Lone Wolf to get a resource. All right, first action, let's draw a card. Okay, oh, stubborn detective. Oh no, <laughs> that's that's uh, that's not a good draw here. Okay, well, it's better than drawing our uh, other weakness. Okay, so this guy, he's going to treat our printed text box as blank, so he cuts off our ability to get another another um, action here. So I guess let's, uh, well, let's add our location. Okay, so evading him isn't going to help us. We could slip away him. Hmm. Actually, seems like a good plan. He'll still blank our ability, though, unless we were to shoot him. No, we're not. Hmm. So we could shoot him, or we could... Yeah, we got this daring, let's use it. Okay, so uh, second action, we'll um, use our Thompson to, uh, I guess, scare away the stubborn detective. 
And we'll pitch in this daring to help us out. So we're going to be at five. We're going to be at three, four, five, six, seven, eight versus three. Okay, that is a success. We deal two damage to the stone detective, and then draw a card off of daring. Okay. Oh, that would have been really useful earlier on in this game. But it gives us an investigation pip, so that's nice. All right, third action, let's try to investigate. I'm going to try... Okay, so one good bit of news right now is we basically have two chances at this because of Skids' ability. So I'm thinking what I'm going to do is we're currently at three. All right. Let's use Intel Report to go to five. And then we'll use... I guess we'll burn our scene of the crime to go to six. So right now we're at six versus four. Okay, and if we fail this, we can try again and be at, what's it, five versus four. Okay, I'm feeling pretty good about my odds. All right, so we're testing at six versus four on investigate. Uh, success, so we have found a path through the dense forest. All right, so we have uh, succeeded at our objective. All right, let's see what happens. The Rotham Township. You have successfully found a path into Rotham. Now it's time to get down to business and find out what all the secrecy is about. What could be so bad as to require barricading an entire town? Okay, we have found a path to the dense forest, so we head to Resolution 4. Okay, so we made it. It looks like we left. We had to leave a few victory points on the table, which is really unfortunate. Um, I guess looking back, I could have used the Intel Report to grab a clue off of one of these two before pitching it in. You know, instead of pitching it into the test, but if that was a minus three or an auto fail, I would have needed that Intel report to, uh, I guess, succeed. I really didn't want to kill off the deputies, and um, we're running, we're starting to run out of time here. So, yeah, our caution may have, it looks like our caution may have cost us a victory point, but that is okay. Uh, the ducks seem to be functioning pretty well. Um, I think I'm gonna. I think I was a little lacking in the investigation department, so we'll see how much experience we get, and uh, we'll make use, use of the experience on uh, boosting our investigation. But for now, let's go to Resolution 4. Okay. Resolution 1, Resolution 2, Resolution 3, Resolution 4. Here we go. At first, it's very rough going, as you move through thick brush and sharp thorns. Just as you're wondering if this is a bad idea, you step through onto a thin, barely perceptible trail. You follow the trail east, and soon discover a connecting path, and you spot an unusual symbol disguised on a tree. It occurs to you that the symbol is a marker on a network of tiny trails. Now that you know what to look for, you begin to see the carefully hidden symbols more frequently. Each symbol indicates a new path. You can make good use of that knowledge. Okay, so we have found a path through the forest. We have not killed any Rotham um, officers, so we are not wanted by the Rotham Sheriff's Department. And we get victory points equal to, you know, victory X equal um, experience. And then we also earn three bonus experience from learning the ways of the backcountry. So that is going to be a total of, let's see, we didn't defeat any baddies. Let's see, how many victory points do we have here? Uh, just one. So we're going to earn four experience points going into um, part two of the North Country. So, um... Okay, we made it, and uh, stay tuned, and I'll um, take us into the uh, second scenario of North Country. And until then, thank you so much for watching, and have a great night.